there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my third Let's Play of Civ 5 Gods and Kings expansion. So, we're gonna play as Theodora of the Byzantine, or B Byzantine, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, uh, basically, of Byzantium, I think is how they pronounce it in the game. I'm not sure. I've heard Byzantium, but whatever. So we can uh, choose one more belief than normal when we found a religion. So this is kind of like the last religious focus Civ, I think. And we're gonna be playing on an Earth map, as was mostly requested. Um, probably not gonna do too many Earth maps. I'm probably gonna go to uh, Conan's Plus. I kind of like that more uh, than any other maps because it's relatively random. Now we're gonna play on a huge map, so lots of people. Uh, Prince difficulty, and I will remain on Prince difficulty until I'm done showcasing all the new civs. After that, um, I'll try for five, but with the AI and how it's improved so much, I think normal is where I should stay. Standard game pace, advanced setup, legendary start, Low C level, and yep, policy saving, promotion saving, we can turn off espionage, which we want to do. So let's begin. All hail the most magnificent and magnanimous Empress Theodora, beloved of Byzantium and of Rome. From the lowly ranks of actress and courtesan, you became the most powerful woman in the Roman Empire consort to Justinian I. Starting in the late 520s AD, you joined your husband in a series of important spiritual and legal reforms, creating many laws which elevated the status of and promoted equal treatment of women in the empire. You also aided in the restoration and construction of many aqueducts, bridges and churches across Constantinople, culminating in the creation of the Agia Sophia one of the most splendid architectural wonders of the world. Beautiful Empress, Byzantium is in need of your wisdom and strength. Her people are lost without your light to lead them. The Byzantine Empire may have fallen once, but its spirit is still intact, waiting to be reborn anew. Can you return Byzantium to the heights of glory it once enjoyed? Can you create a civilization to stand the test of time? All right, so we have the special horse unit, the cat cataphract, I think. And it has higher combat strength. Apparently, it actually has defensive bonuses and is better attacking cities compared to the horseman, which it replaces. We also have the droman, or droman which is a ranged naval unit. So anyway, let's begin with this. Wow. I'm actually next to a hill right here. I was thinking just from the initial look moving down here, so I'm next to a hill, but I'm next to a hill anyway. So yeah, let's just plop the sea down right here. And then hit this ruin. Population, right off the bat, we have two population. Wow. That is wonderful. So what do we need? We need a citrus. That's cool. I don't think I saw that before. Oh, wow. Seven turns. This is going to help so much early game. Oh, wow. It... Oh, did it not shave off a turn? I thought it did. Anyway. Go pottery writing. Lots of hills. Which is both good and bad. Being attacked by barbarians will be easier to. Ooh, more ruins. My, my, I want to get a scout out next. <laughs> if they're this close together. But yeah, well, I'm going to try to do this a little differently. I'm going to go for tradition and then down to collective rule. And as soon as I can, I'm also going to purchase 
a settler. Oh, sweet. How are you out of... Really? Upgrading that makes you out of moves? That's dumb. Okay, so, but... Over here looks like a decent enough place. I think this... Is out of range of my city, right? One, two... No, it's not. That's actually in range. So maybe something down here. There's lots of desert tiles down here. Maybe a city like right here. Two, three... You're next to a hill, next to a desert. You can get access to both the copper and the cattle up there. Yeah, if I'm looking to expand quickly, I need to find places with decent amount, decent amount of luxury resources. I have some Ooh. information that may be of use. Thank you. So we got wine down here. Maybe a city here, and then another city up there. Animal husbandry, sweet. Wittenberg. Okay, so we're getting really lucky with these uh, ruins early on. I have some information that may be of use. Did they give me faith? I guess so. That'll be nice. We have a small bonus to that. We're gonna build a scout, and then we're gonna build a shrine. And then we'll build the Great Library, possibly. I think I would rather build a worker first. More silk down here. Yeah, I'm thinking... No, see, that's too close. I want one next to the river, but I, did, I guess the river doesn't extend too far. Then again, right here would get access to these dye, or wine, rather. Hey, more ruins. So this is forest plains. Bummer. I'm guessing just right here wouldn't hurt. One, two, three. It does kind of conflict. Over here. Three out of range of the silk but I already have two silk over by my capital so that's not a huge issue maybe here one two three it's actually out of range I want cities next to mountains oh perfect that'll give me a nice boost three turns to my next policy Dang! Okay, there we go with the scout. Ooh, there's gold up there. Shrine. And then we'll build a worker. I'm not growing that much, unfortunately. Though I'm already size 2, so. Oh, we have coast over here. I may just see about a lot of expansion this game. Oh, wow. There's two things of ruins right over there. Okay, we'll just... Have my spearmen. Wow! Three ruins in one turn! <laughs> okay, um. Yeah. We'll just go down Liberty quickly. Nine turns for my next policy. Give me seven per turn. Three, four, 
Pretty fun buildings. Yeah, I guess it's about right. <laughs> Another population. Dang. Oh, sweet. We got a woman. That was fast. 14 turns. That must be... That must be the... Uh, Celts? Yeah, the Celts. Wow, they're just ruins all over the place. Ninety gold. Excellent. Wow. We might just want to take over Monaco. Dang. Lots of deer over here as well. One, two, three. Maybe a city right there. Access to the gold, both gold. And I'm stagnant. I don't like that. It's a little low population to be stagnant already. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by them, all right. Yeah, tenders for a worker? Definitely. Probably go for calendar next. Just so I can work all this. Actually, no, I need uh, mining. So I wonder what continent I'm on. Did we get a map? Ooh. Silver up here. Still thinking a city over. That may be here. Next to a mountain. Huh. Yeah. We'll see. I don't have a... We definitely want one... Here. So here's one, two, three. One, two, no. I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. Hex grid. Right here, I guess. And that'll be a decent priority. And our spearman is now here to stay. This looks like a decently high priority. Make sure we get that wine. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. Okay, you get promoted. Give you shock. Range those guys. Attack those guys. Adopt a policy. Or wait till they finish attacking. Republic. That'll help. I just did. 
Next policy is in 15 turns, so we'll have a second city up definitely by 15 turns. And we'll see what else happens. I don't know if I really want to explore too much more. There's no real reason to. Yeah, we need mining and then I'll go for calendar. It's kind of unfortunate. There's not a lot of really well workable production dials. I have some information that may be of you. 15. Why 15? I thought it was 25 in another game. Does it like go up as the years go by? I just got mine early enough. Okay, let's see. Oh, we want more faith. Ooh, we only have access to one wine though, and that might not even happen, so. Natural wonders. From quarries, which we don't have the ability to do. We really do not have a good start, do we? Religious idols, plus one culture and plus one faith for each gold and silver. Hmm. I think that one's the best bet. If I go for the city here, one, two, three maybe buy the tiles over there so we'll have city one down here and then city two up here and then city three somewhere up here yeah I think that's the way we should go too bad there's nothing for silk and yeah wait plantations no, see, it's only culture, though. I mean, it's nice. But I want faith as well. Yeah, we'll just do that. You can just heal there. And you can run. Okay, so apparently we are reaching the northern hemisphere. I think we're on the eastern side of the Asia continent, but I'm not sure. Oh, Maya. We have plenty of luxury resources around, which is nice. I think I'm going to settle the city, buy the tile as soon as possible, buy another cellar. Let's focus on relatively quick expansion. Sure. He's over there. Nice city. Okay, yeah, we can just have you build farms for now. Create library in 23 turns, right around turn 50. That's good. Uh, let's see, if we switch you to production focus, nothing changes. So the reason why this is higher priority is because I want to make sure I get this wine, whereas there doesn't appear to be too much of a threat to lose this gold from Monaco yet. But that'll definitely be another priority. Let's 
So unfortunately, my culture is going to suffer for the first part, which is why I'm making sure that I'm getting the policy first before I buy another seller instead of buying like a building or something. Let's see, we got like 20 more turns until that happens anyway. The meat shall and... Okay. Uh, calendar next. Might build Stonehenge next just for the extra boost in faith if it's still available. Darn it. Look at that, I'm not even first place. <laughs> even on Noble. You're not done with that yet. I guess you are. Dang. Okay, you come down here. Follow. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy down here. Demand salt, do you? Oh, they got the wine. That was fast. Look at that. That's not fair. They sh they changed the way borders work. Okay, well, since I'm not going to be able to get access to the wine... Having access to the horses actually would be good. Plopping the city down right here, like I think I originally intended, would be good. Yeah, because I'm still next to a desert tile. Though now it's not as, not as big of a deal to settle down there. I still think selling over here would probably be better. Collective rule. Okay, you range them. Ooh, another copper right there. Okay, it'll be in range range. It'll be in range from here. That's good, that's what we want. Extra resources that I can sell off.
Okay. Let's. I think happiness is going to be an issue, so let's make a beeline for one of the resources. So, teacher. Okay, you're three away from that. Two away, or three away from that. But you're right next to the marble. And you got two co copper in plausible area. So, and this is desert. Yeah, it's desert. Okay, next up. I kind of want the pyramids as well. Let's see, what do we need? We need masonry to work this, but we're not going to get a worker down there quickly anyway. Building the pyramids after would not be a bad idea. But then again, I think I'm going to build Stonehenge. So... Maybe that's not even that big of a deal. Let's just grab archery first. Okay, you've already got something to defend you. Hmm. Yeah, let's build a monument. And then probably a shrine in all my new cities. I may just build another worker. Good news is my capital's growing. Don't spawn a new one. Darn it. <laughs> They're gonna move in. I don't want them to hit me, so. Oh well. Why am I at him? Oh, it's not control. Darn it. Okay. Good thing they didn't attack. Someone's already in the classical era. They're rushing techs. Unfortunately. I have to. Okay. Let's grab masonry next, then we can grab the wheel. That's kind of expected.
You're welcome. Are they giving me faith? Nice! So we receive two faith for them for the next 20 turns? Yep. Milan. We're almost ready to <laughs> buy that next settler. Should probably be better. I can't buy wonders after all. Just focus all my production, my capital on that. Free tech. Hmm. Pop philosophy. There is only one good, knowledge, and one evil, ignorance. He who knows others is wise. He who knows himself is enlightened. Okay, so Stonehenge. Let's see, what's the granary give me? Plus one food. You know what? You need to grow. You really need to grow. Let's get the granary down first. And that'll help my overall production, overall science. I'm not too worried about the natural or the national college at the moment. If you like to smile the most, I am in dead last, but it could be because I'm the only person who actually expanded at this point. Honestly, there is, yes, there is. I'm gonna send you up this way. Cause I'm close to being able to expand again. And if I have enough, yeah, we want one on the silver as well. So I think a four city at least. Eventually. I'm not exactly sure when. But we shall see. So, turn 50. The demographics. See, I'm not actually even in first in text. AI is much better in this than it has been before. It'd be me hands down on everything. In everything. Land, we're not even. We're not first in anything. Even though I'm on the top now. Oh, we'll see if that picks up. So anyway, I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you very much for watching, and God bless.